you ever see so many signs in life that you're not sure what they mean, but you know you gotta do something about it? So much of our life is about opportunities and whether we should take them or not. Whether we should take that leap and just go for it. Sometimes it's nice to have somebody with you, a partner, to take that leap with you. And in this case, it, it might be a little rough. It might be a little rough. A little, little clumsy on the way, but we'll get there. checking out today from Portland and we're heading to Twin Falls. This is day one of our official road trip out to Florida. Uh, last night we had to um, completely reroute our entire trip because of the storm. It was just getting worse so I had to cancel a bunch of hotel reservations and then make new ones and um, I still have to cancel one more on our way to Twin Falls um, because instead of heading through Wyoming and Nebraska, we're actually heading south through Moab and Amarillo. So um, that was super fun to have to do late at night. But yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting because we're skipping out on the, on all the snow, but there's tornadoes and heavy rain and, and obviously wind, thunderstorms uh, taking the south route. So we're taking our chances and I guess there's flooding in some areas too so oh, here comes here comes a whip so, so it just depends on uh, I guess like choosing our battles choosing our um, whoa cool so it just depends on uh, which type of weather we want to hit, whether we're going to hit snow or whether we're going to hit tornadoes, I really don't know. So, what? Do you want to be in it? He's grumpy this morning because he hasn't eaten. Why hasn't he eaten? Because we uh, have yet to pick up his goldfish and all the things. Ah, yeah. He, we have pancakes and we have potatoes and he will not eat those. Oh, Charlie. He almost knocked me over, bud. So yeah, so we are having quite the morning this morning, but we'll figure it out. Um, you okay? Did you step, did you drop it on your toes? All right, so as far as the hotel goes, uh, Chef is putting the, the bag on the roof. Um, we put that in the car, so we have to unload every night and then put the bag that's on the roof into the car we just don't want anything to like get taken or anything so we put that in the car so he's overdoing that and i think uh as far as a hotel review goes for the mc suites by hilton here at pdx i uh, will wait till we get in the car and we're hanging out this is a long intro welcome back to the show
things that you should get used to with autistics are monologues. Monologues about a particular interest or hyperfocus you may have. And for those neurotypicals who tend to get bored with discussion about the same thing for hours, or in this case, six days on end about Pokemon, prepare yourselves for an epic discussion. Epic meaning very long. Epic in the in the classical poetic sense of an epic poem, monologue about Pokemon. And be advised that said autistic may even direct you as to your role in said monologue, of which you are merely an observer, a bystander. You have a role, but they, they are in charge of that role. As, the box as Charlie is doing here with, with my husband, with his dad, of which he is explaining the terms and rules and regulations of said monologue. And how he is supposed to react and what questions he is supposed to ask as though as though he's talking about a script. For your sake, we're just gonna speed things up right here. There we go. Let's just all right, there we go. Impressive. I think it was a bug. I think it was a TNT box. Yeah. Yeah, it was a TNT box. That's pretty awesome. destination, the journey, that sign that you weren't really sure of. Sometimes the road is not so bad. It might be a little desolate and you might be doing things solo against the grain sometimes, but sometimes that's a good thing. In my case, it's it's always been something that I do my entire life, and it seems that my husband also has this same, this same preference, if you will, about those roads in life and wanting to see them and experience them and doing what we can I don't know if you guys know, but he is a type 1 diabetic. I might have mentioned it a few times in these episodes. Well, okay, fine. Probably every single episode. But I digress. So, we, we tend to uh, take opportunity when it is knocking at our door. Because we never know how long he has being type 1 diabetic. We just don't know when things will all of a sudden change in the direction of our lives. Could change forever. 
You know, there's just so much in life that is、uh, bigger than us, and you just you hope that you're equipped to be able to hang in there with those those events, those things that are just bigger than you. And you gotta enjoy the road getting there. Even though it may not seem like there's a whole lot to enjoy, it may seem like it's pretty barren. There's not much to take in and to enjoy. Perhaps it's just about. Adjusting your lens for a wider perspective. Sometimes we've got to take a, a macro, macro look at things versus the micro.、And、it's all about giving yourself some time to to process that and to make the decision. What type of perspective we've got to look at things? I don't know. For me, it's like a it's like a fractal. It's constantly growing and expanding and contracting. And you know, you can you can see the bigger picture, but at the same time, you look a little closer at the fractal, and you can see you can see the smaller smaller shapes that are representative of the bigger shapes, just well smaller. It's a fractal. That's that's what fractals are. They just they continue. They keep going. And going because the only thing permanent really is impermanence. Things are constantly impermanent.、And、that's what that's what that's what helps me get through major changes. And you know, so many people, especially.、Uh, This past year have so much anxiety because so many major changes have have happened, and me being autistic, yeah, these changes have had an impact on me. And for me, I tend to withdraw. I tend to turn inward, and that wanting to be social. One, it just never really existed with me, but、uh, it becomes even more so when there's many, many changes. My family and my my self care take priority, and we just got to focus on just just our little nugget. And that's what we're doing now. And our our little nugget has moved us across the entire country from corner to corner. Pacific Northwest, all the way to the Atlantic Southeast corner of the United States, and our journey. Well, we're prepared for it. We've done this before. It's not our. It's not new to us. This isn't our first rodeo. I mean, there's some differences now. We have, we have children. We have a dog. We're taking care of our family on this this journey. Taking our family on this journey, and teaching teaching the kids how to journey. So we stop by this Love's truck stop for a bit. We're at about half a tank, and we're fueling up. And they've got this. Lovely dog park for the pets, for the furry, the furry children. And she's not really running around. Usually she runs, but I think she's just gonna take a gander, look around for a bit. It is a very beautiful sunny day out here. I don't quite know where we are. We're still about. I think 58 miles from Pendleton. But it feels good to kind of get out and stretch for a little bit too. So 
this is it. This is what's out here. <laughs> A love's truck stop. I don't think I'll be getting anything to munch on from this truck stop because uh, Chef actually stopped by Target before we left Portland. But yeah, just gonna use the restroom and uh, get some fuel and then we're gonna keep heading out. I don't know what it's gonna look like in Idaho for you guys because I've never been through that area of Idaho. I've only been to Coeur d'Alene. I have not been to uh, Twin Falls in like Southern Idaho. I have been through this area of Oregon as far as the Great Plains area is concerned because I actually, my grandfather lives in Spokane and you can take this area to get up there or this, this highway to get up to Spokane. So uh, this is familiar to me as well as it looks pretty much the same as Northern California. Kind of boring, not a whole lot to look at. You can do a lot of thinking out here while you're driving. A lot of car singing. That's, that's pretty much it. Nice. Hang on, Daddy's gonna see if he can get some. because there's some down here also. See, the thing about going on the road and venturing off is you never know what you're going to find, sure. A lot of us want to know what we're going to find, but someone, for example, saw opportunity out here and built this. What is this? I don't know. But it costs a lot of money. I guess what I'm saying is choose your level of exploration. You know, try, try to get out. I, I know some people have agoraphobia and it's terrifying for them, but virtually you can explore, venture out onto new websites and new information acquisition. For me, it's, it's a smaller version of, of adventure and being able to do weird things like this. That to me is gold, right there, crossing a state line. Seeing sunsets like this, it's those simple pleasures, I think that uh, really add to my quality of life. And I hope it adds to my family's as well. Seems so, everybody's happy. We're doing good. But sometimes it's it's sunsets like this that really are all all that matters, and not that big that big factory. Okay, we made hey. it. We made it, right? Yeah. We're at the Quality Inn in uh, Twin Falls, and I was correct. So I'm going to take you guys a tour. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let me tell them one thing though. Let me tell them one thing. So I was correct 
It is dark outside. You can't see. Yeah. <laughs> baby it's late okay uh, you can't see what I wanted to show you guys it's too dark but there is a lookout point that is down there so in the morning when we leave we're gonna go down there and I'll show you guys for day three or day two what day is it day two of our trip from Twin Falls to Moab so um, yeah we're gonna settle in we're gonna probably get some pizza or something down the street uh, Twin Falls is a pretty big city they got everything here we, i i wasn't sure what we were going to be able to find to get to eat and all that but they got everything here two queen beds wait do you want to do the tour you do the tour yeah okay I hang on try every time at, at, the hotel. at the hotel okay hang on he's he wants to do the tour Sorry. at the mere age of five years old our son charlie yeah. has gone on his own adventure and wanted to attempt his youtubing skills and practice his hotel tours for you all. This is his his small adventure, his his road, his journey. He doesn't know where it's gonna end, but uh, you know, we do what we can to support him and encourage his interests. And if he were to see that you guys are also uh, enjoying his content and his his hosting, that'd be great. Let him let him know. Let him know how he's doing. Again, we, have really a like that. we didn't even have a microwave in our apartment. Well, yeah. <laughs> and this is our oven. Well, no, th this is the refrigerator. Oh. It's actually a slightly bigger refrigerator than there usually is in these rooms, huh? So then we got two queen beds. That's your thingy. That's our speaker. It's the cable. There's the TV. And and then I better turn this off for copyright. We don't want copyright. <laughs> it's the tiniest office. We have a chair here to relax. Now let's go take a look at the. And this is my bed. Uh huh. And this is that This is our bed. But take a look here. Look at the plugs here. So we've got one of these little. And that's a phone. Yeah. But look, people. People can charge their phones there. There's our air conditioning. It's not, there's no view, it's just, see, parking lot back there. What? What do we forget? There's another Yes. Yeah. It's your standard. It's your standard room. And we forgot something. It's a mirror. Yeah. There's a mirror here, too. Yeah. And, oops. Yeah. I mean. And there's one, two, three, four. Four lamps in here. Yeah. Okay. One time, because we're on the second floor. Okay. It's nine o'clock. One time. Go. Boom. All right. Ha! Did it. All right. Chef is downstairs doing the same thing again. Where? Wait, wait, wait. What's Daddy doing? He's doing the. He's putting the the top in the the car. Um. But I think we're gonna order some pizza, and we'll be right back. At this point in time, we ventured out for our pizza successfully located said pizza, brought it back to the hotel, ate it, washed up, and went to bed. I hope you enjoyed this first episode in our six-day journey. And as you can see from my, my son's enthusiastic thumbs up, I, I hope you'll do the same for this episode of the awesome With Autism Show. I'll see you next time. Thank you.